Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a Flash World update. Today's date is January 3, 2024. Texas time, about 11 a.m., episode 106. The Middle East is on fire. So let's get started. Some of my uh, sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber. Hal Turner, War News 24-7 plus. Okay, so we had on uh, January 2nd, <laughs> that was only yesterday, an Iran warship, Al Bori, uh, is now in the Red Sea. So that's going on. The source on that was global data. And we had on January the 2nd, yesterday, Israel bombed Lebanon in a uh, Beirut, in a subdivision, which the leader of uh, Nasrallah of Lebanon had said some years ago that was a red line. This was the first time Israel had bombed uh, Beirut since 2006. And they bombed a residential area to take out a Hamas a leader Al Arori. So that happened yesterday. In the process, Israel killed three people and m injured many, and they did take out the Hamas leader. Then today on War News uh, 24 7, Turkey has arrested 33 uh, Mossad operatives inside Turkey and they are looking for an additional 13. So that's going on. They had heard of a plot about the Mossad operatives inside Turkey planning to kidnap foreign nationals inside Turkey. So they arrested 33. They're looking for 13. Now today, Hal Turner's uh, intel from multiple sources, including human intel and signals intel. The Middle East is on the brink of exploding following the uh, Israel's assassination of al Aruri in Beirut. And it's expected that uh, Iran uh, and the Hezbollah and other uh, the Syrian uh, group are going to attack uh, very hard U.S. bases with the objective being to destroy the bases and kill all the U.S. military inside Syria and inside Iraq. So that's going on. And now we have this. Today... September 3, there was a bomb at a memorial service for General Soleimani, who um, was taken out during President Trump's first term. So it was a memorial. There were four suitcase uh, bombs set in different areas to go off 10 minutes apart so they could kill one group and as people rush to help them kill the second group. So four suitcase bombs that were remotely detonated 10 minutes apart, and many of the dead include the paramedics. So far uh, from what happened just a few hours ago, it's reported we have 103 dead, we have 141 injured. Now, today in the Red Sea, the Houthis seized a French cargo ship that put out a distress signal that was not responded to by the five Harley-class U.S. military ships in this area, nor the U.S. Eisenhower. And the U.S. is not responding to a distress 
call put out by the French cargo ship because France would not join the Prosperity Guardian group. So that's going on. And we have reports in Israel, in Elat, that the Houthi action to shut off shipping in the Red Sea has been effective. The Elat port is empty. And now we have this. From War News, just a few minutes ago, the Pandora's box is open in the Middle East. And Hal Turner had that intel today. All the intel sources, both um, signal or artificial or computer or cyber plus human intel, are saying the Middle East is going to explode. And in the last 48 hours, Israel has made strikes uh, in Lebanon, in Syria, and in Iran. Iran is now being blamed publicly by uh, Israel is now being blamed publicly by Iran for the four suitcase bombs at the memorial service of General Soleimani. And already inside Lebanon are multiple Iranian generals who are organizing a swift and fierce attack upon Israel from multiple locations. Lebanon, Syria, Iran, and from Yemen. So get ready, Israel. So this concludes my flash update. I love you, and I'll see you soon.